Meditation, any question? Yeah. Is falling asleep repeatedly a bad time? Repeatedly, no. Once, yes. Because if you fall asleep and you're gone, that's, that's not a good sign. But if it's repeatedly, like you keep realizing that you have this sleepiness, that's really good. Because your awareness is starting to awaken even during the sleepy times. Eventually, this awareness is your own real nature. And it's always there, even if you're sleepy. The reason you don't know your real nature is because you're caught up in the, what you can see or what you can feel. And if you see and feel sleepiness, you're, well, I'm sleepy. Actually, that real nature is right there at that time too. We'd have these all-night sittings in the monastery in England and you sit from 7 o'clock till 6 in the morning, 7 p.m. till 6 in the morning. You can sit or walk, but you're not allowed to lie down. And lying down was defined as your shoulders touching the ground. So it's amazing what kind of inventive ways you can find to fall asleep over a chair like this. Not allow your shoulders to touch the ground. And one of the insights that comes from this is you, you start off, I'm going to sit all night, and then you're like slumping down, you get, and then you start dragging up kind of, past girlfriends and things that you've had and books that you've read or anything, just like, we do something in my mind. And eventually you're just there like, nothing left, no energy left, can't sleep, can't stay awake, you just, shh. and then the mind will just be there, awake, clear. It's like, wow. It's like meditation is always just like a slight sidestep from where you really are. It's not like down a long path that's miles away. Remember Alice in Wonderland when she saw the hill and the path going to the hill and every time she walked along the path to get to the house on the hill, the path got longer. He's talking about meditation. Yeah. It's always just a little step to the side. It's right there. Anyone else? Yeah. Uh, 